Hey, my name is Matt Horton, and my two words are empty and full. So my story starts with my parents. They provided a great Christian influence and solid Christian teaching in my life, but I never fully understood what Christianity was. I thought I had to perform and be a stereotypical good Christian to earn God's favor, um, and this and this followed into other parts of my life. I tried to be the funny guy and be successful to earn, to earn other people's affection. This made my life really stressful, and I felt I never felt fully liked, fully successful, or fully loved by God. I felt empty. I eventually gave up on trying to uh, earn God's favor, and I turned to the party scene because it seemed more enjoyable. But partying started, began to engulf my life, and I was still obsessed with success and other people's opinions of me. Uh, all these things started to fight for my time and I became really worn out. They were enjoyable in the moment, but afterwards I always felt empty, wanting more, and again, really drained. Uh, then misfortune came my way. I lost a Fulbright scholarship and uh, one of my close friends died the day after. Uh, I felt extremely broken. I decided to go to the parties to try to escape from reality, but I felt no relief there. Then I decided to talk to one of my fraternity brothers, who was a Christian. Um, I was looking for relief and comfort, but he provided uh, care and love. Um, I hadn't seen anything like that before, and I was surprised and confused. I saw him change from before he was a Christian, and this made uh, his change more evident. It made me question what I thought I knew about Christianity. I decided to uh, take my understanding more seriously, and I started to meet with a pastor and attend Bible study. Through meeting with a pastor and attending Bible study, I learned that I cannot earn God's favor, uh, but He forgave me uh, through grace. No amount of good deeds could pay for the sins I've committed. So God sent His Son down to earth. He sent Jesus uh, to die on the cross as a sacrifice for our sins. Your sins, my sins, and the world's sins. The sins we have committed and the sins we will commit. I no longer have to perform to forgive or to be forgiven. And once I learned this, I decided to give my life to Christ. Uh, I committed to making the center of my life. I know it's changed quickly. I became joyful knowing I was free from performance. Um, Colossians 3.12 well describes God's believers, saying, God's chosen people holy and dearly loved. I no longer believe the lie that I have to perform to earn God's favor. Uh, I am dearly loved. I am also chosen, meaning God wants me in this family, and he also wants you. Um, and holy, meaning Jesus paid for uh, our sins, and um, therefore uh, I am sinless in God's eyes. These truths have removed uh, the exhaustion and worry of pursuing success, other people's attention, and partying. Um, giving up partying was, uh, giving up partying for Jesus was worth it. Partying, performance, and a success never fulfilled me. I always felt empty and wanting more. Now I'm complete, I'm full, and I am satisfied by God's love. Those are my two words.